Family, it's your girl Tootie Toot, and I am back with another video. Shout out to the squad that's in T-Drip set with a do. I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. I love you the long way. I truly, truly do. Listen, you know the vibes. I need you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all I need for you to do. Smash that subscribe button. Help me get to 100K yesterday. You feel what I mean? Now, look, we're about to... uh. Continue into this Karina story. It seemed like as much stuff comes out, you're gonna get, you know, what I'm saying more story. And um, the tea room dropped something. I got a whole bunch of DMs to react to this. So without further ado, you know, what I'm saying we're gonna get into it. We're gonna talk about it. You feel me? So let's just go ahead and do it right now. This second, let's go. So in previous videos, I spoke. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna try to get it just to the live so we can get to the. I, live. I hate to even have. To yeah, let's do this. Happen. Hold on. Section below. Yeah. Look at my face, y'all. Ain't no capping shit that I got to say on my son. Oh, oh, everybody I love. It ain't capping shit I got to say. Look at how I'm looking. Why this nigga been going outside like ain't shit ever happened? He going around lying about what the f happened, so now I'm finna tell the truth. I, w I hate to even have to do this shit, but what you not gonna do is live like you ain't do this to me. I think that's what I got the biggest problem with. You know what I'm saying? I think that as the much as I see this situation, that's what I have the problem with. Now, granted, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, nobody don't got to say shit for the internet. I get that. But, I mean, when you see things like this, bro, you got to say something. You know what I mean? I mean, the post that he put up, don't believe anything that you see. Nigga, what is you saying? You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to believe this. I'm looking at this shit with my own two eyes, bro. What I'm not believing is your mute ass. You feel me? Like, dead ass serious. But let's keep going because this is crazy. I promise you, you're gonna feel me. Stop playing with me. Man, you could be in jail right now for me, how you fuck with me, how you played in my face like you played in my face, bitch. Everybody needs to know the real flow. He keeps saying that shit ain't happen like this. Some hit me in my, no. Every time, every scratch, every bruise, every dot, every speck on my face is from him punching me in my shit like I'm a nigga going in my shit. Stop playing with me. That nigga put his hands on me. He punched me in my face over and over and over again. And no matter what I was doing, I'm a girl. Yes, I fight. Yes, I'm a fighter. But I'm not going to beat no nigga like this. He could have restrained me, if anything. And all I was doing was defending myself, and I could barely even do that. I was in that house asking for help. I was in that house. I didn't even want to go to the house. This nigga made me go to the house. What he, he not going to do is get on here acting like he's a good person, y'all, because he's devil. If it fucks with him after this, it's dumb. You a retard. And he gonna beat the fuck too. That nigga dead ass almost fucking killed me. And y'all gonna sit here and, oh my God. Da -da 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 -da. Bitch, y'all gonna see. The real flow is gonna come out soon. And why you think nobody else is him? We all know the real flow. Bitch, keep clowning me. Flow deserves to be in jail. Flow deserves to be in hell. Just like fucking Krishan said, bitch. You're going to jail in hell, bitch. That nigga still have not made sure I was good since he did this to me. That nigga could have killed me that night. My whole nose is broken. And this nigga still ain't did shit to make sure I'm good. All he could do is go outside and party like this shit ain't never happened. And then outside telling some people that I'm capping, I'm delusional, all this shit. My nigga, I'm not delusional about shit. And one thing about me, I can handle my liquor. Floyd cannot, y'all. This nigga is addicted to alcohol. He turns to a different... different... That's a situation I think that everybody are, are, can acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look at this video and I'm really trying to dissect everything really, you know what I'm saying, from a pure unbiased situation. And like I said in my last video, I'm not a naive person. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say that Karina just always been 100% innocent. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying that it doesn't matter what the fucking lengths of what she did went to, it don't deserve this. You know what I mean? And the reason why I always say that is because Flo is somebody in a better situation than a nigga down the street. You feel what I mean? He got access to bags. And if he don't have the bag, he got access to friends with bags. Which means that he don't never have to stand a situation like this. Only if he choose to. You feel me? If she get on your fucking nerves, guess what, my nigga? You can get your ass up. It's other niggas down the street that can't do that and don't have that luxury. So that's the only thing that's really pissing me off with this nigga. You feel me? You be blessed to be in good situations and then you just, you just do this. For what? You know what I mean? Person every time he's drunk. And I promise you, everybody can witness. PJ, let's go. Did this nigga not put me in the whole fucking truck and take me to the house? Be honest. Yeah. The motherfuckers put me in the truck and took me to that house when I said I do not want to go there. I told the, the, the bodyguard, I said, I do not take me to that house. Do not take me to that house. 
They forced me to that house, bro. Took my phone for hours. I'm getting my ass beat for hours with no phone. Can't call nobody. Can't get no help. Bitch, I'm cutting it off. Fuck you. Bro, I swear to God. <laughs> and you best to be glad I couldn't defend myself that day, bro. You best to be glad you 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 got your little one up that day. But I promise you, you would never in your life get that shit again fucking with me. I promise you. Karina didn't do anything. I didn't do shit, y'all. I caught this nigga doing something. I caught him doing something. He wanted to fight me. I caught him. Bro, from the whole beginning of the night, Flo is an ancient ass nigga. He let a nigga punch me in my face and did not do shit about it. Because Mike said, hey, don't do shit. My nigga, you your own man. You. Y'all, I swear to God, can't no motherfucker walk up to Karina. They let a random me. nigga punch me in my face. And that's how I knew I was done with Flo in the first place. Because... You said it's cool. He in a police car. Couldn't be my nigga. Fuck no. Bro, he's a liar. He's a manipulator. He gonna do whatever to get a motherfucker on his side. Man, he's still see this is see, this is one thing that really upsets me, right? Because I understand that sometimes as black women, all women, you know what I mean, or whatever, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna be able to protect these people. And protect these men. We seen this shit happen with Megan and Tori. And what happened? It backfired. You feel me? Situation right here. You know what I'm saying? If you don't go and fill out a police report. You got to do it for more, more than one reason. Okay? I know that sometimes you don't want to be looked at a certain way on this here internet. You feel me? But when it comes down to you really saying that you're fearing for your life. You got to put some paperwork behind it. Because after that, you should be carrying you something. And I mean, God damn it, if he try to come after you next time, then you got every right to lay his ass down. But see, if you don't have a paper trail for yourself, you feel what I'm saying? It, it, it Sometimes it just, it, it, it doesn't help. And sometimes even having paperwork don't help. I watch First 48, Viral Crimes, all that shit. Some women do what they're supposed to do. Some women go to the police. Some people get restraining orders. Some women do all of that stuff. And the niggas still get released and come out and kill them. You feel me? But what I'm saying is that you always got to document it, no matter what. I let my phone denying this shit. I didn't do that to your face. I don't know how that happened. You know I didn't do that. You lying. You're a liar. And you want to say whatever to get your ass out of that situation. You don't. Fuck you, bitch. I never want to speak to you. The paperwork don't help always, but the paperwork will help your case. Because if you have documentation that somebody was putting their hands on you, and God forbid you got to lay his ass down in your driveway, guess what? At least it was something in black and white that said, hey, this nigga was a nuisance to me. If she don't report that and it goes left like that, it's really just his word against hers. You know what I mean? And we already know how this country is set up. That's a 50, 50% 50, uh, percent chance of you coming home. You feel me? So just document it, ladies. I don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. I don't go for what the fuck happened to you. Mike can save your bitch ass now. I promise you he can't save you forever. And he gonna see the real you soon. And I ain't even surprised. Even if he don't see the real you, y'all got a lot of comments that y'all might supposed to flick up. Y'all might supposed to. <laughs> bitch, fuck all y'all. I swear to God, I don't fuck with none of y'all. And I get my one with anybody who want it like this. Everybody fake as fuck. Anybody that that nigga after what he did to me, I do too. And I want my one, bitch. I'm just letting everybody know now. Everybody can get that one with me. Scrape like, like that. And yes, he did kick Chris the fucking door in. He did. I'm at a last appointment, y'all. I promise you. I went to my fucking last appointment. I come back to my fucking door kicked in. Like. Stop. This is not your fucking house. Now, I'm going to react to this video, and I'm going to give you guys full context, okay? Because I don't want everything just to appear to be like we're just attacking this nigga, and it's just one-sided. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing and breaking down a lot more stuff about this, okay? Because I want people to understand why he was over there kicking down the door. Now, it wasn't just that he was just on a rampage. You feel what I'm saying? There were said, there were things that were said in this particular video that you're going to see on a video that I'm going to drop with just different situations, okay? But in this particular video right here, it was said that she had money of his, okay? And it was stemming from some pregnancy type stuff that she was supposed to get rid of some stuff. But not only did he have 
did she take some money? It was like over money. It's, it was more to this. So I just want to be able to bring a fair context to the situation. Because like I said, I'm going to react to this completely as unbiased as I can. You know what I mean? Like, honestly. And before y'all say where Crystal at, bitch, I was at my last appointment. Crystal wasn't there. It was just me and my friend there. And he's trying to kick the door down. He's a... Bitch Doesn't matter. He still shouldn't have been kicking the door down because that was not Karina's house. I mean, and I, in the same way as I say that women need a paper trail, man, too. If you feel like she took you took some money from you, my nigga, then you call the police. Just do it. You feel me? It'll save you all of this. Yeah, he deserve everything that's fucking. Because this is ridiculous. Face. Look at my fucking face, bro. Look, look at my face. And he. He's denying it. He said this shit ain't happen. Bro, nobody deserves that. I nah, nah. That's that's a that's that's somebody getting their ass whooped like a man, bro. And see, I've seen videos. You know, this nigga done flung jazz clear across the room. That says to me that he can restrain a Karina. You feel me? He could restrain a Karina. And, and that is just terrible. It is nothing nobody could say to me right now uh, unless he produced some videos like this. Um, even her mouth don't get, get, get you this. Period. Look at my face. Who did it then? And then and you see he's still outside with a clear fucking face. He probably got some bruises and scratches on his arm from me trying to defend myself. Who, who was at the house when everything happened? Bro, it was just me and my friend. Flo is the fucking W, y'all. Y'all need to see him for who the fuck he really is. If y'all don't cancel this man, then I don't need internet no more, period. Because if y'all support a nigga like this, bro, if y'all support somebody that is lying about their whole entire life, everybody knows the real him. Why do you think the people closest to him stop? Because we all know the real him. Mike and them don't know the real him, and y'all gonna see, I promise you. Y'all can save him now, but y'all gonna regret that shit later. I promise you, because this is Flo. Flo is sick and he needs help. He needs to stop drinking because he can't handle his liquor. He's an alcoholic and he's addicted to being outside. And he needs to get fucking help. He don't need nobody to save him and keep taking him outside every day. It's not turn up time. It's help time. And see, that's how it's going to start. And, and, and see, and I mean, you can't really put the blame completely on Funny Mike because we don't know how much stuff Funny Mike know. You know what I mean? Funny Mike could just be meet somebody. And y'all already know how Funny Mike do. He try to help any nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Especially on the flip side. But see, if he does know, this is where character and stuff comes into play. Because see, if you are yes man and this type of man, then this situation is going to keep repeating itself. Only the next time he ain't going to be lucky. And somebody going to make a mistake and hit their head and pass away. And then at that point, there's no, nothing you can do about it. See, that's why I really salute Jazz for having accountability in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And saying, hey, look, I ain't condoning this. I don't give a fuck what we had going on, bro. No is no. Because that's the only way that's going to make Flo get some help. It's the only way it's going to help. And if y'all keep playing, I'm finna send this nigga where he needs to go. Mm. But see, Frog Mama Jazz is better for having liquor in her house. You know why? Because it's her house. You know what I'm saying? And she can have that. It's not up to Jazz to make another nigga drink responsibly. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I mean? You can't say, no, Jazz is supposed to do what Jazz is doing. Jazz knows to go down to her house. She knows when to take a drink and goddamn put the drink up. So she can't be responsible for that nigga. She did exactly what she was supposed to do in this situation. She gave a blessing to another fucking man. And he had to do whatever he got to do with it. You know what I mean? He ruined that. And she walked away from that shit. That's all Jazz could do in this particular situation. Period. I don't care what nobody say. Can't blame her for that shit. Everybody was out OT for um, her birthday. I definitely can call the police. I've been trying to spare the nigga, but that's, that's my problem, bro. Don't. I'm a good of a person. And I really don't even fuck with the police like that. That's another reason why I ain't called them bitches yet. This should be beyond me. But a motherfucker not gonna keep playing like I'm lying or something. When have y'all ever known me get on the internet and just laugh for fun? The fuck I'm I hate people. Like I hate people. Why would I do this for fun? The fuck Well did she want she went to the hospital or is that a club band? Like what kind of bands is that on her arm? Fuck me and Flo was literally just good two days ago. It's hurting me to even have to do this shit with this nigga. 
I swear it is. I didn't even want to do none of this. But he showed me it's fuck me, so it gotta be fuck him too. I'm done being loyal to motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about right? me, bro. I'm done keeping secrets for motherfuckers that <laughs> say fuck me. Like, no, nigga, you couldn't even check on me. And you say I'm your bitch, you telling me you sorry? Nigga barely even telling me he's sorry. He he more mad that I posted this shit on social media. He keeps saying, well, you got what you wanted, everybody against me now. Instead of just saying, I'm so sorry, Karina. I didn't mean to do that to you. I'm going to own up and be a man about it. I'm. He keeps saying, you got what you wanted. You turned everybody against me. I'm good, bro. I, we can't even never come back from this because uh, you, you, you posted that shit on the media. This nigga wants to look like a saint for y'all. He wants to be so fake for y'all. He, it's a whole, he's a no, whole nother person from YouTube, Instagram, everything. I'm telling you, this thing is a demon. See, that's where it gets iffy with me from, with Karina. Like, I understand that she wanted an apology, but if he can feel comfortable saying you got what you wanted, you know what I'm saying, and shit, it says to me that you still, you, ladies, you can't be halfway in and halfway out. It's that simple. Once she made it a point to go on the internet, that was your stand right there. It's over with. And like he said, I respect it. It ain't no coming back from that. So just for future references, you feel me? It ain't no partially in, partially out. You feel me? You either in or out, period. You know what I mean? Something's wrong with this man. When he was punching on me, he would say, I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. And five minutes later, punching on me even harder. I tried to go scream and get help. I'm literally grabbing the poles trying to get help. And this nigga punching me in my face for screaming, trying to get help. This the nigga y'all fuck with? This the nigga y'all support? That nigga beat the fuck out me and almost killed me, bro. And that shit is not cute. This shit is not no game at all. At fucking all that nigga needs help. He needs to be in jail. I was literally held hostage, took my phone. I was trying to get my phone from damn near 3 o'clock to 8 a.m. Hours of fighting trying to get my phone. Jay Long was in the house and he, he helped a little bit, but he could have helped me more. Just being honest, he could have helped me more. He did not help me for it. I kept asking him, I'm like, can you tell Flo to give me my phone so I can leave? Flo, give her her phone, bro. Give her her phone. We can talk about it later, bro. Just give her her phone. He'll go back in his room and leave me with the nigga that I already asked you for help from. Did nobody help me for real? I was fending for myself the whole night. First, I let a nigga punch me in my shit and do nothing about it. Then, Flo, you ain't even punched on the nigga that punched on me. You came and punched on me. The fuck? That's usually how it work, baby girl. A lot of these men that hit women would not fight a man. You dig? And that's like usually the first red flag. I don't understand what happened in that particular situation. I can't really speak on it. But if somebody else on the outside punched my woman in the face, then my nigga, it ain't no, it's all right. Because I don't understand what the fuck was, you know, what's going on with you. You feel me? But that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? They never fight no man. They won't. You can't fight a nigga, but you can fight me. I'm the only person, me, Slater, PJ, the only people in here taking care of Karina, wiping her face down with aloe, making sure she's good. He could at least called. Like, that shit's just bogus, bro. All he worried about is dick riding Mike, y'all. Mike is saving him. He got kicked out of that house. Now Mike is saving him. We need to bash Mike. We need to bash everyone, literally. Because all of y'all are some individuals for y'all even trying to save him from this shit and if you really gave a fuck about him you would get the nigga help i'm not lying about shit shit that i said bro i'm not lying about not a goddamn thing that i said that nigga deserves to be under the jail under the jail y'all need well baby girl if that's where he deserved to be then you can't be on here saying i'm trying to spare him it don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? What she wants people to do, she wants everybody else to do the work for her. So she's not completely wrong for putting him in jail. She wants everybody else to cancel him out and get, but it don't work like that. You can't say earlier on in the video, you know what I mean? Yeah, I should go to the police or whatever, but I be want to spare him. And then in the next instance, say he need to be up under the jail. Now you got to hold him accountable first. You know what I mean? We can only do so much as people who's looking in the situation. Yeah, nigga, we can boycott this nigga. You know what I mean? But if you're going to make this nigga take accountability, then there's certain things you got to do on your end, too. It's just that simple. I need to get him some help. He's a woman beater. 
he has a pattern of doing this. And I promise y'all, I'm not the first girl that he done held hostage. And I'm not the first girl he put his hands on. He has a problem doing this. And this is not his first time putting his hands on me. It has never been this bad, ever, ever this bad. So I'm thinking that maybe, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe it's because I be fighting and we just fight. Like, that's how I'm looking at it. But this time, this nigga deliberately beat out of me. It was on purpose. It was intentional. He knew what the fuck he was doing. He seen I was down. And I want y'all to pay attention to this because she has a tendency to say, um... Cause like even when somebody had put a post uh up and was talking about you know you never said nothing about Jay Young, and the first thing she said is that Jay never hit me like that, like that, which means he's hit me but not like that, you know what I mean? And what women gotta do is we gotta stop being comfortable when being hit like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Period. Because it becomes enough, you become accustomed to it, and now you thinking a nigga punch you in your face is him loving you, and that's not it. You know what I mean? I think there was a lot of healing that Karina should have did after Jay. I don't think she was completely there yet. And then you get right with another abuser because that's all you know. You see what I'm saying? You're going to get back what you projecting. You dig? And it was like she had just left another fucking low, a low tolerant relationship. So it's so easy to find love in the same type of nigga. That's why you got to heal first before you can move on in these relationships. Otherwise, you just bring a new trauma or old trauma into new shit. That's going to turn into some more trauma, and you get this shit. This is fucking horrible, bro. Couldn't help myself. He seen me crying. He seen all of that. And then he going to lock me in the closet and tell me if I get out the closet, he going to beat my ass again. I can only blame myself for staying as long as I did. It was Sex. Stupid. For me to even believe that a narcissistic ass nigga will ever change. I learned my lesson though. I learned my lesson though. And I'm damn near, I'm really traumatized from what the fuck happened. Because if you know, you know. Getting punched in your face so many times by a nigga. My nigga, you can only take so much before you black out. I didn't even black out, bro. I stayed, all I could do was just collapse to the ground and look at, my, at myself in the mirror. Like, God damn, like, you really just fucked my face up. She had that Tina moment. I ain't even being funny. Don't laugh at that shit. But you remember that at the little after the limo? You know what I'm saying? When Tina ran across the street to that hotel and shit and got that key. When she went in there and seen her face, bro, it, it's it's gonna be moments like that that's gonna make you say you sick and tired of that shit. You feel me? Like that ass series though. Don't don't laugh, man. That for that limo scene, that's what she had right now. All he could do is lock me in the closet. Bitch, I'ma show you, I'ma show you. He really started beating the fuck out of me because I pushed his TV. He had my, my my phone for hours and would not give me my phone. I could not call for help. I could not call an Uber to leave. Every time I tried to leave, he would stand in front of the bedroom door like this and not let me get out the room. I wanted to leave. Keep in mind, before she even got to the house, when he dragged her out the car, he punched her in the car. Punched me into their truck. I did not want to leave with him. I told him, I'm not leaving with you. I want to go with my friend. He grabbed me out of that car. Threw me into the truck. I would not get in. I'm fighting with all my might not to get in. He punched me into the truck. And then the bodyguard just standing there watching this nigga do this to me. And let me tell you something, bodyguard. You a whole ass nigga. I can't stand that. You know what I mean? Ain't no amount of money in the world, shawty, that just, that's going to post to take you away from morals and character, my nigga. Like, I don't understand how grown men could watch other grown men beat women up and do absolutely nothing. That, that, that is beyond me. Dog. That is so fucking pathetic. It's like, God damn, where's the men? The real men at these days. First, y'all gonna let a nigga punch on me, and then you gonna let him punch on me too? Damn, everybody just condoning me getting beat on by niggas today, I see. Now, you could tell he punched that girl for real because the whole right side of her face, bro, is swole as shit, my nigga. I just, I, I can't see, man. It's like, bro, for you to stand over a woman and punch her repeatedly, like, um, yo, that is, yeah, bro. I don't, yeah, this nigga, somebody need to drop him off at the closest rehab. Let's get that alcohol under control, bro, and let's deal with some fucking, bro. You got a problem with women, my nigga. 
Because if this ain't your first roller coaster, Shawty, you gonna have to sit. Something ain't right. Flo is the devil, and he deserves everything that's coming his way. Anybody that fucks with this nigga, do not fuck with me. Don't come talk to me. Don't act like you care about what happened to me, because you obviously fucking don't. That nigga almost took my life. I thought I was finna die, literally. And for y'all to still be in his face, kumbaya with him and shit, is fuck you. And I want my one with everybody, and I'm standing on that, on everything I love. Don't sit in my face acting like you fuck with me, and then still entertaining the nigga that you know just did. And then y'all all know the real flow. Anybody in Houston can see how much of a clown this nigga is. Yeah, because, I mean, I seen the first picture, man, and it was it was like a whole booty, nigga. Like, like nigga, you a, you a simp-ass nigga for some shit like that. And if you can't, you just blind to the shit. But like I said, if y'all bitches want to go fuck with them, go ahead. Y'all can see. <laughs> That nigga is nobody to fuck with. And I'm not saying it on no spiteful shit. I'm not saying it because I don't want him fucking with nobody else because I really don't give a fuck. Because I promise you, I'm fucking with other people. Period. <laughs> I'm We're putting her out there. I'm outside. No, you don't need to be outside. You need to stay right on indoors, Karina. No, no, I got to say the truth. That's the problem. See, that's the, we go outside too quick. Fuck that. Stay inside, heal. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing out them doors. You feel me? And see, we go out, man, no, nah, don't do that. Hey. I'm so outside. I'm getting back in the field. Yeah. Nah, don't get no. You can you can go fuck on whatever hole you want to, because I promise you I'm back outside, bitch. I was put up. I was being loyal, bitch. But now the mm -hmm. niggas are hurt. They been on my body, bitch. And you should have been through that. You should have been through that. Stop playing with me. But it's okay, go ahead. Fuck with whoever you want to fuck on. None of that shit gonna last because you're a woman beater and he was the problem this whole relationship. All I asked for was to be loved right, to be treated right, for him to stop drinking. Can you stop going outside all the time? Please, like, it's, it's okay to just sit inside and just chill. The nigga couldn't do that. The nigga is addicted to outside. He's addicted to liquor. He's addicted to beating bitches. He's addicted to lying about everything. The nigga's a fucking pathological liar. He will lie about anything. That nigga get 5K from somebody, he running it off to 10. Yeah, I just got 10K. Whole time the nigga really got 3k. He's a pathological liar, bro. And he kicked the fuck out Crystal door, regardless of why the fuck he saying he did it. He kicked somebody door and he's a grown ass man. Be a man, bro. Then he's talking about something because I, I took his stuff. Boy, I don't give a fuck what I took. And I told you what you had to do to get it back without doing all that. And bitch, you held me hostage. You kidnapped me. Make it make fucking sense. You. I wish a nigga will hold me hostage. Cause see, we trained over here. My nigga, I'm taken. You dig? I'm in the car count kilometers. And my nigga, when we stop their car, you better pray to God. Because see, this type of shit right here, I, I you post, man, that nigga would have been burnt. <laughs> Fucking with me. You think I'm finna lay next to a nigga that ain't goddamn then did some shit like that to me? Boy, Lee, you will wake up the most non nutless nigga. You be the, <laughs> bro, I swear to God, nigga. You're under the jail right now. Literally, fucking with me. Who fixed Crystal Door? Crystal Door is still broken because Flo still ain't fixed it. But he's so rich, y'all. I'm, I'm, and it's like, I can fix the door, but bitch, I didn't break my door, so you're gonna fix it. But now, I'm gonna make sure you fix it, for sure. He claimed he got all his money, all his money. Why, why Mike had to go get you an apartment? Huh? And fuck my, my dough. Rich boy. Damn. See, that pattern right there fucked up. But see, this is the thing, right? This is the thing what I was saying earlier. You remember earlier where I say the reason why he shouldn't even been in situations like this because he has too many affiliations that, that has money. Mm -hmm. Now, just as motherfucking quick as Mike put the nigga in an apartment after he beat her up. He could have did that shit beforehand. See, that's the thing that be pissing me off with these niggas too because they be so quick to blame women. Oh, yeah, she provoked me. Okay, I ain't going to say that that could not have been, been the truth too. But see, you got too many niggas around you that's in intricate places, nigga, with, gut, with good money. You feel me? Once you got them seen it was something wrong, bro, you had a person or a pot that you could call and say, look, I can't be here, bro. I need you to help me. And it could have been done. But see, y'all niggas want to wait until after the fact. And and that shit terrible. Replaceable, bitch. You put your hands on my friend. Face. Terrible, bro. Me. Rich boy. You getting all this money.
I know God got me. Yeah. But I feel like Flo, he needs to get his. He needs to get his. Mike is trying to save him out of this situation. That nigga got kicked out the house, and now he's trying to go cling on to Mike. He's going to try to be like this with Mike now to get him out of this situation. Won't slide with me. Will not go with me. He, he talking about something. It's going to die down in a week. It's going to die down in a week, and I'm going to go back to living life. Yeah. That's what he thinks is going to happen. That's why he not getting on. He keeps saying, well, I'm not even going to get on there and say nothing. I'm not going to respond. So you can't respond. What are you going to say for yourself? What can you say for yourself? You didn't do it? Because it was only me and you. You're not going to discuss anybody but Karina. Stop That's discussing what I'm saying. me. Stop, because, stop discussing the exes. Discuss Karina and how the fuck we supposed to help her. Because this nigga not going to keep lying. See, he didn't do this shit. This Kicked shit. out the house. Now he, he trying to dick ride Mike so he can have somewhere to stay. Kings, queens, that's another thing I'm saying. Y'all niggas making all this goddamn YouTube money. 50K a month, 60K a month. Stop going to get all the goddamn jewelry from Icebox right away, nigga, and build you a cushion because in situations like this, nigga, Flo make good bread. He shouldn't even have to go to a mic. You feel me? Go get your shit set up, but nah. When you have other grown men condoning this shit, that's when it gets a little terrible, bro, because that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? When men be in very influential places, you know what I'm saying, and have different statures, they get away with shit like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way that it is. And yeah, he really, he really hates me because I exposed him. He didn't want nobody to see the real him. He done done this to so many girls, and I'm the first girl to actually speak up about it. But I'm, the only reason why I'm really speaking up is because look at my face, y'all. This nigga did my face in and then acted like Ain't shit ever happen, which is the only reason why. Cause I hate doing shit like this. I I hate social media, and me even being on the internet with a face a fucked up face like this is just irritating me, bro. It's irritating as fuck. But the nigga not gonna keep playing with me neither, cause he know how good of a person I am, and he's taking advantage of that shit. So now I'm gonna show you that I I had a whole like I I didn't have to be that way this whole time, bro. I didn't have to spare you this whole time. I didn't have to be as loving and caring as to you as I did this whole time. I'm going to tell you, Miss Hunt Green, why that happened. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times women know what these niggas are. You feel me? But the problem is we so maternal sometimes. Every woman think they can change that man. That's what it is. That's the reason why sometimes niggas see red flags and still end up with a fucked up ass nigga. Because we feel like we're not going to be who she was. You feel me? And that our love is going to be different and change that nigga. And then all of a sudden we write in the same predicament. So that's why sometimes, bro, I shut my mouth on certain things. Not saying you, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that we as women, we do that. And I've done that. You feel what I mean? You try to save these motherfuckers who don't deserve to be saved. And we'll see the red flags, nigga. They be so far in our motherfucking face. But we be feeling like we can love the red flag out of these niggas. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, we going to make him be different. And then we get this. You feel me? And then it don't help that the nigga before this nigga was just as bad. So, you know what I'm saying? Flo probably was doing a little bit different from J.D. Youngin. And then she probably felt like she had hit the jackpot with that nigga. You feel me? It's just, it's, it's a fucked up cycle that, man, we just got to, man. Now it's uh, you. I don't even have no feeling in my heart towards you. You could go do anything. Like, anything could happen. I really don't care no more, Flo. Fuck you. It's oh, not everything. even about the apology, uh, y'all. This nigga is moving blatantly like he never did nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. Damn. You know, it's going out telling people that Karina got hit in the face with a lie. Going out trying to talk to bitches. Talking in bitches' face, which is cool. I promise you. I don't and it's like, it's these the same bitches that come back and tell us. Like, y'all be dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Niggas don't even know how to cheat right. But honestly, I'm saying it's looking out for the girls. If I was you, I would not fuck with him. He's a con artist. I was embarrassed the whole relationship. I'm just gonna be a honey. The way that Flo acts, how corny he is, how extra he is, how much he needs to be seen, how much he needs validation, how much he is so pressed. <laughs> Why are you trying not to laugh at me? What I did? Y'all get on my nerve, bro. To just go around and flex with all his jewelry and all that shit irritated me the whole time, bro. I didn't like it. And I kept telling him, Flo, you don't have to be like that. Be yourself. People gonna fuck with you more as long as you, you know, just be real. Like, it's gonna make people actually fuck with you. It's gonna make people respect you. 
nobody gonna have respect for you, not even Mike, my nigga. You just let a nigga punch on your bitch and said it was Mike would have defended his bitch. I guarantee you he would have got on that nigga ass. I don't go fuck up. He would have told him not to or not. He would. That nigga would have defended his bitch. He would have. He so definitely would have. Like, like a fucking for letting a nigga tell you that shit cool. Don't worry about it. Cause I'm right, I bet you motherfucker. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you the reason why Mike felt that way. Because I guarantee you that Flo had already had pillow talk with Funny Mike. He probably already made it seem like she was this and she was that. So that's why the homie didn't respect you, Karina. You know what I'm saying? And that's what sometimes women got to pay attention to. Watch how his friends treat you, Sheldon. It's going to tell a story. If them niggas don't have respect for you, that's because he don't got respect for you, my nigga. Because he's telling them something completely different. Stay woke. You dig? Knowledge went to college. And that's the reason why niggas can feel like that. You know what I mean? That shit crazy to them up. Uh... You can walk up to Julie and punch her. That's what I'm Mike saying. So you look like a bitch. And you are a bitch. You is a dick riding ass motherfucker. All you want to do is dick ride people with money, bitch. And that's exactly why you are in the position that you are in. The fuck you can go try to cling on and do whatever the fuck else you want to do, but everybody gonna see the real you. It's only a matter of time because this shit is in you. It ain't no running from this shit. And the only way you can get rid of it is if you go get help. They gonna see the real you. You gonna end up getting into it with them, and it's gonna be the same shit. Like I said, the people that really fuck with him, the people that's been with him for I don't know how long now, they all told him to get out. Is that not telling y'all that this shit is real? That shit speaks volumes. You feel me? That shit speak volumes. <laughs> no cap. It's crazy because I was thinking, I'm like, she forget it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let it. I'm that's wild, but maybe I should warn the girlies. Maybe you should warn the girlies. Pequito, bitch. Pequito. Pequito. <laughs> Poquito, For you to be acting like this, very poquito. Very poquito, bitch. What it is. Damn, her face is fucked up. That's so tore up. One thing about it, we gonna keep our friend laughing. We <laughs> wake up. You either caught the story or you didn't, y'all. I, I didn't even go into full detail about everything that happened. I promise y'all I'm going to do that, but I don't want to do that. He better change that motherfucker to FOB. <laughs> Fame over bitches. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit. I don't know. He FOE no more, but he can still make a B out of that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? To change it. Like, because he chose fame over a girl. Like, something. Because this shit crazy. The motherfucker. I don't, man. I don't lie. Because motherfuckers can't. Like, go back and see, and then I want my story to be out there, and I'm standing on whatever the fuck I say. I don't want to have to explain that shit again, nowhere. I'm going to make a video about it, and that's going to be that on that end. But I told y'all a little glimpse so y'all can know. Very poquito. <laughs> Very. See, don't do that. I, and I don't like when women do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, listen, I understand everything is messed up, but don't make it seem like it was all poquito. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, because you was on that thing. You was on that thing. You was throwing it back on that thing. You feel me? So don't make it seem like he ain't like it then. You liked it. You feel me? His poquito. Yeah, you liked it. You know what I mean? Don't do that now. I hate when people do that. You know what I'm saying? You was all up on that poquito. Fuck that nigga. Y'all can go. Fuck on him if y'all want to. Maybe you'll feel it, bitch. I don't know. You felt it. I showed y'all my face without the filter. I showed y'all this picture of my face, right? I'm finna show y'all. Nigga did my shit in. I don't even look the same. That's my water. Somebody else's water. Look at my face. Mm -hmm. Somebody else's. I ain't drink that much water. I don't think I did. Yes, it did. Because it was only me and water. I am. <laughs> Yeah, that picture, that picture right there is just heartbreaking. Oh, her lip, you can see her lip shifted, her face shifted, her eyes. Yeah, that, that, that was a terrible, that's, that's horrible, bro. Oh, that's so horrible. That's because y'all said I stayed and I kept taking it because I'm a good, per Sweet, I'm a good person and I accept the flaws of the people that I love. Period. Don't try to play with her. Don't make bitch. it seem like I couldn't have went and got that anaconda, bitch. Because I, I definitely <laughs> could have. The niggas be on my body. I was being loyal by choice. 
putting up with that shit by choice. Whole time he won't even be unloyal to me. And that's cool. Go ahead, get that little dick up, bitch. I don't give a fuck. That was making it seem like you give a fuck because And I bet you any bitch that fuck him can vouch. Fuck slow. He canceled in my ass. <laughs> I've been to the whole world to see. That bitch to get on here and say anything about me. I kept it real since I met the bitch. Looked out for him, tried to help him. Do this, do that, trying to help him become a man. You cannot raise no motherfucking man. Leave that shit to his mama. You cannot raise no man. And I wish he would have had his daddy in his life. Because that nigga's not a man at all. He's down there about to be 25. Did y'all know that? This nigga finna be 25. Acting like he's damn near my age, 21. Girl, yes. if a breakfast is crazy. Crystal came all in the camera, in the camera, looking like strawberry shortcake and shit, like dead ass. Here. Breakfast, cause I cooked dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> it is good, y'all. I should have some. Me and Karina ate that shit right this week. It's okay. His it's head ain't finna be oh. big for long. I promise you. Flo can go try to do whatever. He can go try to cling on the mic and make videos with Mike and all that shit now. But nobody's fucking with him for real. Because everybody knows the real him. He can't even get close to Jazz now. Because everybody knows the real fucking Flo, bro. Everybody knows the real him. And then they trying to say the nigga, oh my God, um, listening to his fucking sob story. He lying to y'all. That nigga beat the fuck out of me. But I know y'all condone that shit because y'all got that shit going on over there too. So I understand. But I just want y'all to know I don't fuck with none of y'all. Anybody that fucks with him after what he did to me, don't say shit to me. Act like we never fucking met. Because I'm good off you. I swear to God, anybody that fucks with both of us, no, pick your side now. It's that simple. Did they? He's out of the house. That nigga is trying to get, that nigga didn't got Mike to get him an apartment. It is good. Hello, she good. They said she, um, she's good. Hello, she's good. Hello, she good. Hello, she good. My girl gonna be back out there at I guess the difference between like certain women and her is like, boy, when a person put his hands on me like that, I wouldn't know about funny Mike getting him an apartment. I wouldn't know about it, Jazz. I wouldn't. I would disconnect myself from you so damn. I wouldn't know nothing going on in your life. Foe does not support him at all. They cut all ties to him. The only people that are supporting him right now is Funny Mike. Funny Mike needs to be canceled. Funny Mike needs to be canceled. He's the only one trying to save Flo. Instead of getting Flo help, he's still taking Flo outside, giving him the same liquor that caused him to do this to my face. Still doing the exact same shit. He's not trying to help Flo at all. Flo is going to turn into a bigger demon if he keeps feeding that shit. Flo needs help. He needs to hit rock bottom so he can face and change. And I got on everybody, I'm getting on everybody ass. Anybody that still fuck with that nigga, fuck you, bro. Funny Mike know exactly what the fuck happened. And he's still fucking with this nigga like ain't shit happened. And that's cool. I see y'all a gang of women beaters and shit. Y'all around all them kids. You got daughters, my nigga. And you just condone this shit. You just gonna help a nigga get put on that is a fucking known woman abuser. I guarantee you any bitch that he used to fuck with in the past could get up here and say that he put their hands on them. They just choosing not to. This is a pattern. He's a woman beater. Yeah, Ms. Boats, and unfortunately, that's a dangerous situation to be in. Because you could tell that she cares. You know what I'm saying? She still cares about him. You can definitely tell that. But her not wanting to see him go to jail... It, you know, it, it's one of them. It's one of them situations to where you gotta be out or in. You know what I'm saying? You can't straddle that line, cause she don't press charges, right? And then he get to drinking. You know what I'm saying? So now she don't got no paper trail of this nigga putting her hands on her or none of that. You did. So then he later on he want to get to drinking. Now he's sitting there in his own thoughts. Now, all of a sudden, he back over at her house. And it ain't kicking the door in this time. You feel what I mean? So, this is what I'm saying. Like, even though I know that women want to protect men, you still going to have to have a paper trail to protect yourself. Because for you to defend yourself, you need that. You dig? And it's just like, shout it. You can't do this. You know what I'm saying? In and out, you can't do that. You just can't do that. First of all, it's confusing to his ass.
I'm finna hear all of them, I promise you. Yeah, man. man. gonna hit flow first. On God, nice for what? They all know. That's why you're not in I told y'all, he, he fucked up my eye, too. What happened was we was fighting, and he took me, and he slammed me on the hardwood floor. And I had hit my face on the floor, and it blacked my eye. That's what happened that time. I mean, I have no problem with none of them. I fuck with all of them, for real, for real, except for Jay Long, for not helping me. That's the only person... I I don't fuck with out of them people. All of them didn't check on me, made sure I was good. They didn't make sure I was good. So I don't have no problem with none of them. And then they all, like I said, everybody knows the real flow. Ben having sit down for him, Ben telling him about his drinking problems, but don't listen to nobody. He thinks they one of them niggas for real. You can't, you can't, you can't humble no motherfucker who think that they that nigga. And it's like in real. In reality, you know you're not, so that shit is like a, it's like a facade. Every day you gotta wake up and you literally, gotta point the proof. You literally, like you're not even being yourself. You, it's so scary because you don't even know who you really are. Like you so stuck on trying to look, impress other people that you, you don't even know who you are as a person. You don't see me going out in everybody's face like, oh yeah, um, look at this, look at this, brother, look, 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 look. He is to the point, he in a section down talking women. I'm richer than you. I'm richer than you. I got more than you. Like, like who cares about your money flow? Like, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares at all. We didn't give a fuck if you had two dollars in your bank account or ten thousand, bitch. I don't care. Stop saying that shit to me. I really don't care. That's all that nigga ever talk about is bread. How he getting money? How much he got? Money. You don't have to do that. When a, when a man don't have much to offer, you know what I'm saying, those type of, those accessories and shit means everything. That's why niggas be so hooked up on his fame shit, because they don't got nothing else to show for it. You feel me? He's still young. He has an ability to get some help before it gets bad. You dig? But um, it's going to take people that's around him to teach him to do the right thing. And the only way you're going to do that is by making him be accountable. Yeah, don't do that to me. <laughs> with that nigga Poe. <laughs> you know how broke you gotta be for a motherfucker to call you Poe? <laughs> they told me I gotta sneeze with my mouth open. Why? Because my nose is broken. Her nose broke? Damn, so she did. I mean, damn, bro. That's toe up, bro. That person. <clears throat> Mm. He is very insecure. But he needs to be, to be honest. It don't even matter if they was both fighting Marissa. Um, anybody could see who had the upper hand. You feel me? She don't want to press charges on the nigga because she really don't want to hurt this nigga. It got nothing to do with it. I know we all know that she, we all know, I mean, because nigga, we ain't had to be there with Chris Brown and Rihanna to know that Rihanna had through some hands. You feel me? Like, we know she probably did something like that, but it does not warrant this. And that's what the nigga, the nigga, he, what happens with him, he can't control himself. You feel me? He punch her once, he want to keep punching. That's a fucking problem. That's a problem. That nigga crazy, boy. Honestly, he probably is. Girl who just commented that. I I agree. I wasn't trying to say it, but they got Right on. They've been it. <laughs> right on. Yes. 
ain't even no maybe. I'm convinced at this point. Anytime you let a nigga rock your bitch and you don't do nothing, and then you claim you slow like that. Oh my God, Mr. Badass Flow. What it's the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Ain't you like that? Ain't you cut like that? You just gonna let a nigga punch on your bitch? You shitting me. That ain't. I really wish you would have told me that, bitch. You would have ran back out there. Like, I see you tell Yanni, but I'm thinking you're saying this from relationship shit. So I'm like, I'm going to stay out of that. Then it's like, you come back and the story come back different. It's like, damn, I wish I would have known. Man, I wish I did finish for my goddamn stuff. I ain't lying. I'm, I'm always going to stand by myself. I don't give a fuck. If I'm standing alone against 500 people in front of me, bitch, I'm still standing on whatever. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. I ain't going outside, though, bitch. I'm going to hit as many of y'all motherfuckers as I can. Like, that is, I'm not playing with nobody. And if anybody want to get with me, I will fight them like this with a broken nose. I, I ain't never been the one to try to wait till I heal, bitch. I'm getting in that field now. And then we could get it up again. Yeah, I can't go live on my page because of what I posted yesterday. They probably know I'm trying to get on here and talk that shit. <laughs> <laughs> talk that shit. Sassy Floyd, gay Floyd, fuck Floyd. Flo gets dick in the ass. He takes dick in the ass. He bends that ass over. <laughs> fuck him. Oh, when was his first time hitting me? Honestly, when I had first came down here, for real, for real, it was on some plan shit, though. Like, I could have known then it was a little more serious because it had left a bruise on my leg. But I wasn't really tripping for real because, like I said, I'm I'm rough. I, I could take a hit. Like, I'm not going to play victim or cry because a nigga smacked me or something. Like, the only reason why I'm doing all this right now is because this nigga literally tried to kill me. Like, he kept punching me when he seen I was down on the ground. He kept saying, I'm going to show you, bitch. I'm going to show you, bitch. He mad because I broke his TV. I broke his TV because he kept my phone for hours. I could not call my mom. I could not call an Uber. I could not. I had no way to leave. I'm like, if you don't give me my phone, I'm going to punch your TV. If you don't give me my phone, I'm going to punch your TV. I gave him a chance over and over again to give me my phone. He would not give me my phone. So I finally punched the TV. He looked at me. Bah, 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 bah. Start beating the fuck off me for breaking the TV. Bitch, I just paid $400 for that TV, bitch. Break another fucking TV, bitch. Going the fuck off. Beating my fucking ass by the $400 TV. By the $400 TV. Then he kept saying, and you broke my chain, bitch. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Lock me in the closet. If you get out here, bitch, I'm going to beat your ass again, bitch. I'm going to beat your ass again. Then he would turn around and be like, I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. And then try to hug me and fake cry. Like... I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. This isn't me. You know I don't do this. So you know I don't do this. And then he kept saying, bro, I'm a good person, bro. I'm a good person. You keep trying to say I'm not a good person. I know I'm a good person, bro. I know I'm a good person. This nigga is crazy and fucking sane. Yeah, boy. I, that right there, that. Yeah, nigga. You ain't, yeah, boy. I wouldn't be. <laughs> fuck that. How did I get out? Let me tell y'all. After he had locked me in the closet, I'm like, okay, I got to play cool with this nigga because this shit getting serious. It had never got this bad before. The nigga locked me in a whole closet and would not let me out that bitch. I'm screaming because I'm claustrophobic. I hate shit like that. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just calm down and play it cool. I'm talking to him. I'm like, he trying to hold my hand and shit. I'm, I'm holding his hand. Then I'm like, Flo, I got to go to the bathroom. He was like, Okay, I'm going to let you go to the bathroom, but I'm going to sit right here while you go to the bathroom. I'm like, you don't have to sit right here, Flo. Like, I'm good. Let me use the bathroom. Why you got to sit right there while I'm using the bathroom? As soon as we have this conversation, I try to just take off towards the stairs. Y'all know how that house looks. We was right there by where Flo room was. I tried to take off to the stairs where the balcony and all that shit is. I'm grabbing on the balcony, trying to scream, Jay Long, help, please, please, please. Jay Long finally comes out his room. I'm like, Jay Long, look at my face, bro. But as, as I was screaming for Jay Long to come help me, he's dragging me as hard as he can, trying to get me back to that room and punching me. Talking about, shut up, bitch, covering my mouth so I could not scream. Jay Long came out and seeing him doing that, he automatically got up off me. So Jay Long went and see me. And then Jay Long, he, he like, 
flow, bro. Come on, bro. Like, look at her face. You can't be doing shit like that, bro. You can't look at her face. I didn't been in shit like this before. Da 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 da. Basically trying to talk the flow and shit. But that's the only reason how I got away from that shit. I would have been still stuck. And then Jay Long ended up going and finding my phone. I don't even know where the fuck it was. Jay Long went and handed me my phone. And then that's when I ordered my Uber. Yo. This, this, this is extreme, bro. Um, yeah, this is crazy. We about to get into Funny Mike's Live or whatever. It looks like we just got the link to it. Um, where he's responding to the backlash and things like that. Y'all, y'all go ahead and drop down in the comments. I want to know how y'all feel about this situation. Do you guys feel like Funny Mike is even wrong for helping Flo at this point? Or do you feel like that somebody needs to be able to help him? Somebody needs to be able to intervene so people can get him where he needs to get to. I need to know. Drop it down in the comments. Drop it down in the comments. Y'all stay tuned, okay?